I think I'm live. Yeah, okay, so I'm live. I'll try to hold the phone still this time because I know I move around a lot. So welcome. Today's topic is around being fearless with forgiveness or forgiving through fearlessness because you really do have to get over your fears to forgive yourself or to forgive someone else. And oftentimes it's more difficult to forgive ourselves because we're the hardest on ourselves. So if you haven't seen my book, let me show you my book. I am fearless. I am fearless. 12 elements of fearless living and you can purchase it on Amazon or my website. One of the elements is forgiveness. So, and in the book, in the chapter, I share with you a story about one of my clients who really had to learn the power of, of forgiveness and being fearless in it with herself. So she struggled with her weight. She learned as a child that she was bad. She was made fun of because she struggled with being overweight most of her life. She learned that that she was judged and so she took on she adopted all those beliefs and, and thoughts that and, and words that she heard from people about herself and so she believed that she was bad that she was unacceptable she wasn't good enough and so she lived in that mindset until she learned that forgiveness was her ticket and it really was so think about the word forgiveness for give when you forgive you're giving you're giving yourself a huge gift because we imprison ourselves with the ways that we're unwilling to forgive because we we choose instead to be right we'd rather hold on to the beliefs that we think are true about ourselves or about somebody else because that feeling of that righteous position has us feeling like we have a sense of control and power, but it causes us so much grief and aggravation. It keeps us in bondage of our internal world. So when we forgive, we're giving ourselves a release. We're allowing ourselves to see something other than what we think we know about ourselves. So this client, as I worked with her, and you can read about it in the chapter, she learned that by noticing all those things that she thought were true about herself, what she believed that she was unacceptable and unlovable, um, she wasn't beautiful, she felt like she was ugly, she really got to realize what that was causing her and how it was keeping her stuck and having her reach for more food. And then we did lot, forgiveness is a process. So we did lots of, she did lots of work around it as, as I guided her to really identifying all those beliefs that were having her feeling contracted and, and, and less than, lowering her self-esteem. And once she was able to identify those, those thoughts, she really got to see that that was a story, like I said, that she adapted from her childhood. And that story wasn't true. She was able to relearn who she truly was, that she is acceptable and she is lovable. And through that process, it was so awesome to watch her transform right before my eyes. She was able to feel good about herself and give, in the forgiving, give herself the love that she always wanted, the self-love that she wanted, that she was trying to get from other people, her life dramatically changed. Not only did it um, her internal world change, but her external world changed. She lost the most, a lot of the weight that she had been trying to lose for so many years. She lost 70 pounds. She felt like a completely different person. She does now. Her life transformed in ways that she never imagined because she gave herself, finally gave herself, the love that, that we all deserve by letting go of the lies. And the other thing that's come out of that experience for her is that she knows now how to forgive other people 
and to be more compassionate because it's really all about judgment. When we judge someone for being wrong or for hurting us in any way, we think that or that we're right and that causes us suffering and pain. So forgiveness is a gift on so many levels. You're giving yourself a gift and that gift automatically is reflected in your external world. And in fact, this, this woman that I'm talking about, she's now committed to working with other women who struggle with their weight and supporting them in loving themselves and to learning how to forgive. So I, if you haven't already got my book, I suggest you get it. I am Fearless, 12 Elements of Fearless Living on Amazon or my website. I'd love to hear your thoughts on forgiveness. I'm wondering if you think it's more difficult to forgive yourself or to, for, to forgive someone else. And I'm going to say hi to Michael. Hi, Michael. Hi, John. Hi, Steve. Hi, Frank. So, yeah, post something here. And actually, um, now that I'm thinking about it, I'll, uh, I'll post the link to get my book. All right, that's it for today. So... Today, look at how you can, what you've been unwilling to forgive yourself for or to forgive another person for. Maybe next time I'll talk about forgiving other people. Um, yeah, that's another, another topic. So, hope you enjoyed this and I will see you again soon. Bye.